today I am going to make a small statue. I was thinking about the small Venuses that have been found all around Europe. And the most known of them all, of course, is Venus from Willendorf. And uh, this is the picture of it. Now, we don't need to invent the wheel again, so you can always go on the net if you want to make one yourself. Find a picture, print it out, like for instance this one. The front, both sides and the back to use as a reference when you build. The clay I use is a stoneware clay. It's called 1154 and uh, it's from Great Britain. It's perfect for this because it has a lot of grog. The color is like sand, so I will not even glaze it when it's done. When it's dry, I will just burn it in the okay. So now let's go into the video and uh, make a small sculpture. Okay, so now I have wedged the clay and uh, this is about the size that I want, no more than this. So the first thing I'll do now is try to get the proportions right, same for the head, the body and the legs. So I just try to make something that is going to look like the shape of the Venus statue. So this is about the head, the body, and then the legs. Now on this statue, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, this Venus, she has her arms over the breasts like this and I think I'm going to make them afterwards so I I concentrate on making the body now So now I think I have the proportions, you can see. Um, time to start refining the edges and the shape of the Venus. As you can see I'm using mostly just my fingers. Uh, I will use some kind of tools also, but I think it's easier to feel the clay this way and to, to get it right.
Okay, there we go. Now, this is the shape that I want. Now I need to make the arms and uh, this ornament that she has on her head. And the hair is visible. You can't see her face actually. So I'm just going to do it this way. Now I will just use my stick to make some grooves into this so it looks like hair. Okay, this is my statue. The only thing now is to make the arms and then it has to dry. Uh, I will probably do some finishing touches uh, as long as it dries. So now just the arms and I'm done. Okay, uh, the arms on this one, uh, they are really, really thin so you can barely see them but uh, yes i still need to make them so i cut them the same length and uh, of course the width so i can use these now uh, I didn't bring out my slip, so I will just use this 
a wooden tool to make myself some slip to put on. Just like that. Here we go. Now I try to uh, to get this to actually look like it's made in one piece. Okay, and the last thing I have to do before letting it dry now. Uh, because this is kind of thick and uh, it's not hollow so uh, there's a risk that I will blow this up in the kiln if I don't make a small ventilation hole into it so I will measure now I probably need this much and uh, I just make a hole right here from the top of the head into the body uh, and uh, try of course to, to keep it so it will not come out anywhere and then I just pull that out and uh, I don't want this hole to, to be really visible so I'll make it almost closed on the top. Now this lady is done. I will let it dry and burn it and uh, I will not put any glaze on it.